Hey everybody, this is Kevin, and w welcome to another episode, and this one, I've got to admit, has got me completely baffled, and I'm going to really need your all's advice on this one. Please leave a comment at the bottom of this video. I'm going to get to that in a second, and it has to do with the wings, so I'm going to set them aside for now, and I just want to show you where we're at on the progress. The fuselage sides have been glued together. And actually you can see where the, when the cement ran, it actually pulled some of the interior paint up and out of the seam. So where you see the little uh, odd green color, that's, that's the paint oozing out from the, the sandwiching of the cement. But that went together fairly well. Not a huge issue with the seam. There was a little bit of a, an issue up at the front here, but that's going to be filled in with putty later. And, and the canopy is actually going to fit over that anyhow. I did get the front nose piece glued on as well. A little bit of a gap issue right here be behind the nose strut, but not too bad. Everything lined up. I got the, the cargo bay opening done. I got the, the where I'll eventually mount some of the, the bombs if I like to do that. And not bad in the tail section. The tail went together pretty well. And I got the, the, the ball turret up on top situated as such. So therein lies the next step. Now this one went together pretty flawlessly. This is the horizontal stab and the vertical fins with the rudders on them. Uh, this just basically two-piece panels cemented together on each tip and then the two elevator halves glued to the one solid bottom piece and then the center piece kind of filled that center gap in. And this easily enough will just end up popping right perfectly fit. I mean it fits like a bug in a rug there, snug. So that's gonna fit good right there like so. That's got some weight to it. So now I'm kind of understanding why they wanted, recommended putting some ballast up in the nose because that tail is pretty heavy. Um, <laughs> here's where I need your all's help. The wing panels. This is the left wing panel. A little bit of a goal shape. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little bit of a dog leg. Kind of like uh, a Stinson, if you guys know civilian aircraft, uh, the uh, the old gull wing. Kind of reverse of what a Corsair would have. But nonetheless, this is the left wing panel, and it's pretty straightforward. You've got the little pins and the holes on opposite sides, and you fit it all together. You line everything up, and uh, just for sake of comparison here, I'm going to show you. Okay, so now all the pins are lined up. Well, they were there. And you know they're somewhat uh, even because the landing light opening is the same on the top and bottom panel. So that's lined up. And you get out to the wingtip. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You notice the, the top wingtip goes all the way out and it meets the bottom wingtip. Straightforward, right? Common sense. Everything matches up on the tip and at the root. Okay? This is the left wing panel. Now, I will, before I show you the right wing panel, I want to show you the instructions. Okay, here's the instructions. Uh, this is what I was showing you first, was the left wing panel. Okay. Root to root, tip to tip. Okay. Symmetrical, you'd think it'd be the same on the right side. Correct? Well, let me show you the right wing and what I found when I did it. Okay. Here's the, the right top point panel and here's the right bottom panel right okay so you line the roots up okay they fit in pin to pin you line up look you got the landing gear light top and bottom made it perfectly and then you make out your way out to the wing tip and look at this this is the top of the wing and here's the bottom of the wing we're talking half inch short on the bottom wing panel from reaching the tip. I mean, am I completely missing something here? Or is the mold bad? Or I mean, because it looks smooth, like the mold looks good. But again, we're, we're lined up at the root. The engine nacelle area is properly placed. Then you got the top and bottom landing gear light opening. See those, those line right up. And the wing tip. I am com completely baffled by this. I 
I can't even imagine how this could have come out of the mold incorrectly. I mean, the ailerons, you see the gap between the flap and the ailerons, they line up on the bottom. Well, maybe a sixteenth of an inch off, and then it's just, it gets cut short. I'm completely baffled by it. It's not a deal breaker if if this is in fact incorrect, which I suspect it is. I can't imagine why they would have molded it that far short. Um, it's going to take a lot of putty, a lot of filling and sanding on that tip. And I don't have the means of doing panel lines and rivets, so I don't know how I'm going to match those up as they extend all the way out. But again, you look at the, the left wing panel. Everything is good all the way out to the tip. And let me check the ailerons. Ailerons are pretty much right on. I don't know if you can see the comparison there, the gap right here between the flaps and the ailerons. They're pretty much right on line. The right wing, it's about a, I don't know, 16th to an eighth of an inch off. So have you guys ever encountered this before? Is this an anomaly or is this um, a common issue with Academy kits? But I mean, we're talking that's not even close. <laughs> so if they run a quality control department, I don't see how that could have passed. Um, so that's where we're at. I, I'm kind of at a standstill until I figure that little bugger out. So I I, I really look forward to your all's comments. And, and uh, I mean, why would they not be symmetrical? I, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out, well, you know, maybe there's something on the wing tip out on the right wing, but there's no difference. The airplane is symmetrical left and right, so I cannot fathom why that gap is like that. So that's where I'm at. Again, kind of a standstill until I figure that out. The instructions don't show that anomaly. And I love how the instructions also give you this optional piece here. It says optional. You can drill a hole. But I don't know what the option's for. Like, I don't know if I want to choose that option because I don't know what it does. <laughs> so... Uh, if any of you guys know the answer to that question, I've looked at diagrams, the pictures, in the, and I, I cannot figure out what it might be. It's just to the outside of the engine nacelle, it looks like, around the area of the um, landing light. So I'm scratching my head. Literally, as we speak, I am scratching my head. You might hear it. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of baffled. Maybe this is uh, something experienced modelers know how to handle i'm just i'm completely at a loss so i'm not going to ramble on any further i'm just sort of stuck until i figure out some ideas on what i'm going to do about that wing so the only other little little piece here let me show you this is the little uh rear gun that's going to mount in the rear of the uh, fuselage right down in there and it's going to stick out the tail and eventually a little little bubble canopy is going to go over the tip and you have to glue that in first before you glue on the horizontal stab because then that kind of seals it in and there's no accessing it again after that so um, that's down the road honestly I really want to solve this dilemma with the wings before I proceed any further again I I don't think it's a deal breaker it's just gonna take a lot of putty and sanding to fix that if that is in fact an error and I can't see how it is not an error so it is what it is. Um, I, that's probably the worst saying ever. I don't like it, but I tend to use it quite often, especially with little perplexities like this. So I uh, thank you all for watching and please leave a comment on this situation. Let me know your opinion on it. And also please like the video, leave the comment like I asked. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. That way you'll get the notifications whenever I do a live stream or an upload on one of my video series. So thanks again for watching. God bless you all, and we'll catch you next time.